guys, you are back at the Clever TV headquarters. I'm Dana Ward, hanging out with Jocelyn Davis hey and guys. our girl Debbie Ryan. Hi. And this is a very fabulous day. We're celebrating the official release, the DVD yes. release of Radio Rebel. Yeah. yeah. I just want to do something crazy and rebellious. You should do this. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so break it down. Yeah. Um, anyone who hasn't yet seen this right, movie, right, right. what is it about? It's about a girl who um, has kind of a secret alter ego as this DJ, and she ends up kind of leading this underground rebellion in her school um, for everyone that listens to a radio show and really standing up for what they believe in and fighting for the beauty of individuality and, and their music, but kind of along the way, people don't know who she is. People don't know her face, and so she's kind of this shy girl. No one really knows her, um, but she also ends up becoming the voice of this generation, and it's, it becomes a phenomenon and gets a little bit out of control, so they kind of have to end up really making a few sacrifices and she has to find out facing kind of what she stands for. So it's a really, I mean, it, it feels solid. When we went to make it, I watch a lot of movies, like John Hughes movies and things like that, and music kind of concert movies, and it was one that I, I wanted to be like a go-to like cult classic. Like I wanted it to be something that you would like get the DVD and pop it in and like watch it with your friends, like where you all dress up as your favorite musician and you guys like all, I don't know. Well, we Watch still, we can do that though. Do it, we'll do we it, can. we'll have a party. I'm sure. down, we'll have a party. <laughs> so it's just out, so it like just came out on DVD yeah. and people are like writing in about all of these ideas that they have. So it's like every single time they watch it, and she's like, someone says Radio Rebel, and they'll like take a chug of an energy drink. Or like, <laughs> seriously, it's like this kind of like fun, I don't know, It's I feel like it's definitely really good to watch in a group. It's like a really good kind of party flick. It's really good to have playing during a party or whatever. So it's kind of a fun one and the soundtrack rules and I had like way too much fun filming it. There's I know, yeah, you were actually shooting a music video for Radio Rebel. Yeah, I actually produced that. That um, So cool. My production company, is one, one of my first productions was that music video and it ended up being one of those things. I was like, listen, street art is huge. I think we should do it. We should do like graffiti. It's very kind of 80s and the fact that we were covering a go-go song, we right. kind of had to throw into this whole throwback pop rock genre, the very like early Madonna, the whole, so it kind of is like you see tutus and fun, really fun things, but it still vibes like the movie. So the fact that I produced it, you kind of feel me. Like when you see that video, I started out dancing and singing. That's how I started out in the industry. Uh -huh. It's like a little known fact that it's musicals. And I, I like, love that. I, but You're like, a true We want a home video too, oh by my the way. Gosh. <laughs> but no, you know, okay, so like, have you ever been walking like in a mall or Six Flags and there's like people, like little kid, like dancing or like performers? That On was me. On the stage in the middle. Yeah, that was me. Totally. I literally was like the girl with the pigtails <laughs> doing hip hop in like malls. It was like, <laughs> so because of that, I kind of was like, I haven't danced in a while. Like that would be really fun. And it's. I mean, it's called We Got the Beat. Like, it's all about Hello. jamming. Totally, right? so. totally. So I feel like you are nothing like your character. I hit and miss. What, what, what is similar yeah. and what's different? All right, well, Tara, who's the actual girl, Radio Rebel is her persona, right? And Radio Rebel is outgoing. She believes in her generation. She fights for what she believes in. She loves bringing people new music that they might not have heard of. That's all me. You all know I write my music blog. Like, I just love jamming. We're constantly talking about music every time I see you guys. That is true. It's true. It, like, <laughs> it's literally, that's kind of who I am. So the Radio Rebel part is definitely clear, but Tara, who is the, the shy kind of girl, she actually um, is a lot like me. And it's, I was introverted when I was little. And I'm still introverted so by hard nature. It's hard to believe. Because I've had to train it out of me. Because every time someone's like, tell me about your movie, if I sat here and was like, um, <laughs> movie, <laughs> you know, it was just very underwhelming. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I kind of ended up, and, and being a performer, you know, you kind of, you know when you have your story to tell. You know when you have something that you believe in and that you're passionate about. And that's, Tara couldn't do it with her face, but she did it with Radio Rebel's face, which was this voice of a generation. So I, I kind of do the same thing, but when I go home, I still, I used to like hide behind my mom's skirt and like in the curtain, like I would hide in the theater curtains <laughs> and like watch. And then it would be my scene and I would go and I would come with my little ringlets and I would go out there and I would sing and dance and then I would come back to hide back in the curtains again. Like I kind of was that person. So I had that, that little alter ego split moment. Um, and I still, like if you see me on like a weekend, you can still catch me at my house 
alone reading, <laughs> making music, writing or whatever. Because I'm still pretty low key. So. You balance both sides. I now try. something I love to hear, like when I'm watching a movie and I know a backstory, yeah. or even like us sitting here, like a funny story about what we were talking about before. Is there right. any funny moments in the movie that when people are watching they can look out for? Like a great story that was going on behind the scenes? Um, a great story is that Okay, so every time Merritt, who plays Stacy, the mean girl, she um, there's a, there's a part where she locks me in a closet, and I finally get to the stage to prove to this guy, like to have this moment with this guy. But because she locks me away, I let him down. It's this emotional moment. He walks away, and I'm just, like crushed. And she walks up and she like shoves me to the side of the stage and is like, yo, listen, I'm the boss around here. That's I'm loosely paraphrasing because <laughs> she looks like Kate Middleton. <laughs> she kind of has this intimidating moment and it starts with her shoving me. But every single time we did it, she, we would just, she would shove me over there and then we would just crack up. Like we could not take it. So, and then a lot of Radio Rebels words and monologues and speeches were written actually by me with a lot of my words. I sent, um, a, my friends made like a joke dictionary because apparently I talk like a hep cat. What? Like I talk like a old school jive. Like, like a 50s, uh, like. Yeah, because I sound like jive and yeah. vibe, like cat. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. So my friends, my friends make a, they call it the hipptionary. And they like made the hipptionary and they. Who else has their own dictionary? Just Debbie <laughs> Ryan, okay? And it's Don't make fun. It's literally insanity, but they took this this crazy hiptionary and I sent it to the director beforehand and the screenwriter and I was like a, a, with definitions and like sample sentences. Give us and one I word. Like, I want nice. one word with a definition. I don't know like I mean I say vibe a lot. Jive. I say jive is like really hip like jive is hip. Jive is okay. like cool or, or rad. I say rad a lot. Which is more 80s. I love it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dime piece is like Something that's Total hot. Total babe. Yes. Like, yeah. Like, like yeah, a babe. Yeah. And I say babe too, bombshell. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't even notice that I do it until people... But yeah, so a lot of her her verbiage is me. Um, and that's those... Cool. And also, anytime that you see us like in the hallway, the mm -hmm. hallway scenes, we, in the middle of filming those, would run, because we were filming in a real school, and we found there was a music room. So we would just run to the music room, like in between takes, and the director would like finally get up and like look for us, and the set would be empty, and we will have like run to this music room, and they have to follow Rocking the drums. Out. We're having like this giant jam. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. Now something I'm looking at the actual DVD right now. Yeah. Um, obviously there are a bunch of special features. So yeah. even fans of the movie who have already seen it, mm -hmm. they're gonna get something extra with the DVD. Great. I think blooper that that's what's really cool. Bloopers. The blooper reel. The blooper reel is a little bit <laughs> yeah insane. It's I kind love of bloopers. like. What's funny is that the bloopers are the moments where we slip out of character. Because you see this, which is like Debbie, and then you see the movie, which is like Tara and Radio Rebel. Mm -hmm. Blooper Reels is bridging that gap. It's like seeing me in that environment. And you'll see, I'm just a total goofball. And if I forget my lines, I just go, what? Like, I forget, <laughs> just, it's gone. And so you, you have like us joking, like Merritt's stomach is growling during the scenes. And we're just like, Oh, the mic is like picking it Yeah, out. we're like, we're, they're Get literally like, snack, action. Please. And we're like, <laughs> so all of those and, and inside jokes. And then there's an interview thing where they talk to the cast about like working with me, which I never saw until yesterday. But it was, first of all, incredibly heartwarming. But second, they, there was this huge inside joke because on like week two, someone was like, God, you have really pretty eyes. And I was like, oh, thanks. I have a problem with eye contact. So when I like, they were like, what? And I was like, I just can't look at so they're like, oh, no, 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 you have really pretty eyes. And I was like, stop. And so every I'm single time they did it, it was, seriously, so they would literally come up and they would get like all five of them together and they'd be like, you have such beautiful eyes. God, doesn't she have pretty eyes? Look at her oh. eyes, guys. I'm like, God, you're not even, now you're not, you're just being mean. <laughs> so it kind of was like, and then they interviewed and they all did this monologue that they had memorized. You have to watch, you have to watch it. You have it's to get the a, DVD to watch it. I mean, there it. are like a million. your favorite quotes yeah. from behind the scenes because those are really funny. And um, we all talk about our prom experiences. Yeah, what's from prom to more. From prom to more. Yeah, that's, and that's, I mean, like a funny featurette. It's like us talking about our, our little prom experiences and um, you kind of get to know us and we all really became super, super close. And so the fact that you kind of get to know all the different characters, we're literally 
like super different people, but we all just gelled. It's that chemistry when you click and you jive. Yeah, we jive. Jive. Yeah, you used to go, but I'll buy it. No, <laughs> was, we all had a similar steez. It was a common. Steez. It was a steez commonality. Ah, mm -hmm. I like yeah. that. <laughs> I like that. All right, all right. Debbie. So yeah. we have to ask from you, Radio Rebel. Why should everyone go get the DVD? I think it's a party DVD. I think it's fun, and and it kind of takes you on a ride, and and. Um, I don't know. I think that the, the CD, for sure, the soundtrack, mm -hmm. is like a staple. Like in your car, it kind of has a little bit of everything and you can kind of jam with it. And the DVD tells the entire story. So like, get your friends together. It's a very cool summer movie. It's a very cool end of summer movie, too. Because um, I feel like the movie is like about the last big chance to really like hang out with your friends and stand up for what you believe in and really be yourself, whatever that means. And um, for me, personally, I've been doing a lot of charity work. And I've been, go like I just went to India, which I was just telling you guys about. and. When you do something like that, you find out who you are. You take everything away, and you find out at the core of it who you are. And I think that that's what this movie is about. It's like you kind of find out who you are and what exactly you're willing to fight for and stand for and what you believe in. And, and whether it's music or individuality or children in India, it kind of everyone has something that they're passionate about. So. It's just a fun. It's just a fun flick, and also there's a dancing sandwich in it. So go see it for the dancing sandwich. The dancing sandwich. <laughs> just oh, that has for that. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you one last question. Your character in the movie obviously has this alter ego. You know, you're recognizable. You go outside, everybody knows who you are. But if you could like have a secret alter ego, what would you be doing? Do you know what's funny? When I, I don't know what, how this happened, but when actually before the movie came out, because I wear ponytails a lot in this, but. When I put my hair up in a ponytail, I could walk down, I could walk like into a Chuck E. Cheese and no one would recognize me. It's like, seriously, <laughs> it's like Disney this store. weird. Yeah, into the Disney yeah. store. Jennifer Stone from Wizards and I, a couple years ago, like right when Sea Life first came out and when Wizards was like hitting it, nailing it, she and I both walked into the Disney soda fountain one time. We were just like walking and hanging out and we were like, oh, we'll like grab an ice cream. And she and I both walked in and like silence dropped over the place and we were like, <laughs> like we were like, oh. it kind of was like that moment, but it's, no, absolutely. I mean, I can like pull my hair up and, and put my hair in a beanie and, and kind of not really, and people don't, ex I don't know. I think when people see like stilettos and like designer right. hair and makeup, they expect for it to be like someone to look at. I wear like black skinny jeans, like I'm pretty low key, so I'm, but if I had an alter ego, what I would be doing? I would be making music, yeah. I would definitely just be like in a pro like how Zoe Deschanel has she and him. Oh, I mm -hmm. love she and him. I love she and him, and I've loved Zoe Deschanel like since almost famous, Forever. which was like baby Zoe Deschanel, and she was yeah, really really cute. Ago. And I like the idea of being able to do both. You know what I mean? People kind of see her as like this icon and this quirky girl, but and like Scarlett Johansson, who has a project with Pete Yorn. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like. People don't look at that and they're like, oh, this is actress Scarlett Johansson trying to be a singer. I'm like, oh, there's a musicality here. So I think maybe, you know, I, I feel like when, when your name is associated with Disney, people are kind of like, oh, she's a Disney singer. Like, and kind of find it to be very manufactured. And a lot of times, like, I know some, in, like, some of the most insanely talented vocalists, songwriters I've ever met have worked with Disney. Like, tr like real talk. Mm -hmm. Some amazing people. And then some people have also been very much like they are performers first and foremost. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I just, like, all I do is jam with my friends and um, my fans keep being like, when are you gonna put stuff on YouTube? Like, when are you gonna release stuff? So I think that if I were to do that, it would be under a different name. Not like a Hannah Montana. Not like a, you know what I mean? I'm already thinking of names. Just yeah. kidding, guys. I am Katy Perry. <laughs> oh my gosh, I knew Surprise! <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much yeah. for stopping by. Totally. It's always so fun and good to see you. Good news. Anytime. Come back again. I I'll will. Be back yes. soon. I'll bring more cupcakes. Okay. Oh, yes. yes. Speaking of that. Thank you for the sweet treat. <laughs> oh, You're yes, too sweet, Debbie. I was taught never to show up empty handed. That's how good I was raised. Good mom you have. Nice. She's a good one. Mm -hmm. Hi, sure. mommy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks to you guys for checking out Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis and Debbie Ryan. Make sure you pick up Radio Rebel for the sandwich. Do it for the sandwich. Dance Do it for sandwich. the dance sandwich. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys.